Well, before I got into the Doobie Brothers, uh, I played in this band called Steely Dan. And then before that, I played in uh, Linda Ronstadt's band. And before that, I played in Buzzy Linhart's band. And before that, I played in Carly Simon's band. And then before that, I played in the Holy Mole Rounders. And then before that, I played in the Ultimate Spinach. And then before that, it was a very dark time in Mexico. When I, when I joined the Dewey Brothers, they were going through a transitional period. Uh, Tom, Tommy Johnston was not taking as, as big a role in the band as he had been before. So other members of the band were starting to really kind of blossom as songwriters and, you know, players. And when I came into the band, it seemed to me like a lot of the guys in the band were looking for a new something new. All of a sudden, everybody started writing great songs. Not me, I don't write songs, but very many. But the other guys in the band started writing these really great songs with all these nice changes. And everybody started getting off more and more, and Michael came into the band, and his keyboard, had the addition of a piano or a keyboard instrument in a, in a band that was all guitars, added the, the one harmonic piece that was missing. I started writing for the band that I really felt like I had a place in the band. It was hard to, uh, I think with this band, to come up with piano parts, quite honestly, uh, for a band that was so, uh, basically a guitar band, you know. Um, there wasn't a lot of space left for a piano, for keyboard, you know. Over the years, they just had work without one that they pretty much, you know, covered up any uh, real need for one. It was, uh, we had to do a lot of rearranging of songs to uh, make it work. I worked for the band as a stage manager and uh, settled the box office and stuff like that and played too. I asked them if I could just play in the band at one point. You know, I wanted to be a sideman and they all said, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> 